Anything on my face? Mm -hmm. No, some skin tags, but Where? underneath your oh, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Chisum. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some spring rolls and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. Bada boom! So this week, we're taking a break from our Taipei series. If you're a regular here, you know we've been doing lots of Taipei series because we were recently there. And we're gonna get back to that, don't worry. We're just gonna take one week break and talk about the brand new Vancouver vegan restaurant. And after that, we got a few more super awesome Taipei episodes. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss those. And then also we have some Thailand episodes. And those are all gonna be really cool too. Today, we're having dinner at a new all vegan Vietnamese restaurant in downtown Vancouver on Davie Street. And I found out about this place from our Facebook Vancouver vegan group. So shout out to them for recommending this restaurant. Whoop, whoop. This new restaurant is called Hestia Veggie and Hestia is the Greek goddess of the hearth. I'm not sure what it has to do with this restaurant, but we'll go with that. Interior. What was the interior like? They have quite a lot of seating. We sat in a booth by the window. There are seats along the wall as well. I think they're not set up for takeout or delivery yet. Takeout, yeah, but delivery, it doesn't seem like. I didn't see them on any of the apps. So I guess that's coming soon. Let's talk about food. What do we get? For our appetizer, we shared the spring rolls and then we decided to share our main dishes as well. So we got the cordyceps chicken clay pot and the eggplant clay pot and they both came with a side of rice. Spring rolls, what do you think? This spring roll dish came with two pieces cut up in halves, so essentially four halves. It's actually kind of expensive expensive. It's $12.50 for four half pieces of spring rolls. I like them because Vietnamese spring rolls are my favorite kind of spring rolls, but I did find them to be a little bit oily when I got to the ends of my spring rolls. I think the oil had kind of pooled down because my last bites were really messy and I felt like there was oil all over. Oh. So yeah. What did you think? I liked them quite a bit as well. You're right, definitely way too expensive for the amount you get. And I didn't think it was too oily, so maybe I got lucky with mine. But that was one of my positives, that it wasn't too oily. One, One two, two, three. Boom. Oh, I gotta put it The eggplant clay pot. Now, believe it or not, this dish comes in a clay pot. The eggplants were nicely cooked, nice and soft. The chicken was good. And overall, pretty good dish. What do you think? I like the eggplant and it was nicely cooked, like Amir said, really tender. The flavors had all been absorbed. The chicken was okay. I felt like it was a little repetitive because we also got another clay pot with chicken as one of the main ingredients. But I think it went really well with the rice and it was a good dish. Shall we? One, two, three. Boom, another four. Before we talk about the cordyceps and chicken clay pot, let's talk about subscribing to this Dopass channel. If you like what we do, if you like vegan content, hell, we're the best at it, baby. You know that. Press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that damn bell so you won't miss any episodes. The last dish, but not the least dish, was the cordyceps chicken clay pot. The cordyceps, I was like, it always reminds me of The Last of Us now because oh, yeah. of the cordyceps in that show. They weren't very prominent in the dish. When I was eating it, I was like, okay, yeah, this is what it is. But it's not like a big part of the dish, so it's mainly chicken. 
It's good. Went well with the rice. But I don't think we should have ordered two chicken clay pot dishes. The flavors were a little bit repetitive with these two. I agree with Diana. I thought it tasted kind of repetitive. Pretty much the same dish minus eggplant. It was decent. It wasn't bad at all. It tasted really good. One, One two, two, three. Yo, Diana, would you go back to Hestia Veggie and dine again? I would really like to try some of their other dishes because I get, I was gonna get a noodle soup dish and Amir said no. So I would like to try their other dishes. Plus, it's interesting, their menu is not strictly Vietnamese. They have Western dishes and also like a Pad Thai on there. And I'm curious about that. So yeah, I'd go back. It's a local business really close to us. I'd like to support them. I think they're probably going to expand on their menu. Right now it's pretty simple because they just opened. And they also said that they'd be introducing a drink menu. So I'd like to try that as well. Would you go back to eat at Hestia Veggie? Yeah, I absolutely would. I also want to add that I was going to mention the whole Pad Thai thing. And I had this whole thing set up and I was just gonna talk and I was gonna look really smart and just like, oh, I mean, really has his thoughts put together. And then Diana kind of took that away. So yeah, I go back. Take a look at this restaurant on Amir's face. It's probably somewhere where we had lots of thoughts about. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.